Hello again guys, we're back continuing on on our duck, dead duck project. So the head and neck are installed. As you can see right now, the neck is quite um, relaxed, the skin is quite relaxed. It's time to pull out the cotton balls from the wings and continuing with wiring up our, our bird. So as you all know that we drill a hole into the ulna part of the wing, which is the bigger bone of the middle of the wing, and uh, we blow out all the marrow and then that's where that's the hole that we're going to push our wing wire right through and that's what i'm doing right now in another method we used to go beside these bones and push the wire all the way to the tip of the wing but that's not necessarily important there. In some poses it might be important. Yeah, we will have the tip of the wing drooping on us all the time while we're posing it, but at least the wing will bend quite more naturally when there is no wire inside that area. So anyway, that's what we're doing using the electrical tape for both wings. Having a little bit of a piece of towel inside the skin is always good because you never know where there is a little bit of water trapped in a little crease or a little pocket inside the bird and we don't want that water to be spilled all over the bird again. So it's time to put the leg wires right through behind the leg and, uh, and the ankle and bend it with the bone uh, at the joint and tape it up. In some mounts, depending on the pose, I build up some drumstick and in some mounts I don't. Same thing with the bone on the, uh, on the wing bone. Sometimes I build it up, sometimes I don't. Depends on the mount, it depends on the pose. So, so pushing the neck wire right through the proper spot that we've designed for it before or planned for it and you see that I'm pushing the wing wire right through easy and quick but uh, don't let that fool you because I've already marked those areas it's not being seen in the video from the video angle but it's been marked already so both wings are going um, into the body on a very symmetric spot. I've already uh, spot, uh, basically marked them on my on my uh, carved body. Same with the legs. It's just not a guess uh, placement. It's just all um, measured compared to the carcass and uh, you can see that I'm bending enough wire, leaving enough wire for the thigh bone so basically the drumstick bone is not going to get stuck right against the body so it doesn't allow the leg movement it's not like that we leave enough wire for the thigh bone and then we'll bend it into into the body and of course the excess is going to get bent back into the foam these foams are incredible for carving your bird bodies they're amazing if you have your wire sharpened fairly good they will hold on to the wire they don't make squeaky noise that those polyurethane foam makes and they're easy to push through and strong to hold on to your wire so they have all the right properties that you want for carving the uh, the bird body and of course when you have to sand them down or resize them they don't create that terrible dust of polyurethane foam. 
I absolutely, that's the only part of my, my work that I do not enjoy when I'm doing um, basically carving or doing something with the polyurethane foam. That, that dust, the powdery dust that it creates is just very bad. Super turbo sewing here. And uh, we're gonna go into a very short period of uh, blow drying. Of course, short in the video, but it usually takes a long time. So get your pet groomer or uh, sorry, pet dryer, and uh, use cold air. Try to blow dry the whole bird in in. Uh, in perfect condition so there is not a single wet feather on the bird I wish it would take this short but uh, but no it takes sometimes for a duck it, it can take up to 45 minutes okay now this is going to be a dead duck dead duck hanging off the board so a little bit of a grooming right on the table happens when you usually blow dry your bird the motor on your blow dryer is going to get warm so eventually you're going to end up with warm air and that warm air when you're hitting the feathers it's going to soften up the feathers because it's warm and you're uh, basically drying them right from wet and it's important to do what i'm doing and what you're seeing right now it, I'm pushing all the feathers that have gone underneath the other ones pushing them out or pulling them out because if you leave them there for later, for a slower process of your feather grooming, they're gonna get the shape, unfortunately. They're gonna get the crease and they're not gonna look nice. So, if you know what I mean. Um, so basically, you better adjust all the feathers. You can see even the tail, some of them have gone underneath the other ones. So pull them out, pull the wrong ones out, and make sure that if they're supposed to be shingled on top of one another, they're set there properly before they accept or get the shape. They, they get the shape right away, especially if they were dried from wet and if you, you've been drying them with a little bit of a hot air. So now we're gonna put them on a fake board right now to come up with the position and do the proper, um, apply the gravity to the dead bird because nothing is worse than trying to show something is uh, basically as a dead mount and uh, you fail to produce a limb body basically you're you're creating a soft hanging limb body you'd better make sure that your bird looks like one too instead of being stiff and rigid looking so one wing of course is gonna be a little bit uh, drop down more than the other one it is hard to come up with an idea say that which dead bird looks more natural because uh, depending how they've been shot or how they've been harvested they all can when you hang them from their leg in the field they all can hang differently so there are better ones there are better poses or better shapes than others we'll leave that up to your own discretion to see which one in your mind looks more natural so anyway we're coming to the end of this part two. I'll leave you up to the rest of the show. Um, I'm going to say goodbye. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the rest of the video. If you like the video, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so we can produce more videos for you. Um, on to my next project. project and uh, I'm going to be editing another video for you guys. Hopefully I can upload it before the end of this week again. Okay, thanks for watching. We'll see you next. Bye-bye.